on this year's rally. But I want us to begin uh, scoring this afternoon with uh, some athletics. And it's all about the Lukenia Marathon. Now, Wilson Chariot emerged the winner of the men's 42 kilometers at this year's edition of the Lukenia Marathon. He clocked two hours, 14 minutes, and 28 uh, seconds. Douglas Kimeli finished second as Kevin Kipchoge took the third position. University Marathon. Ah, uh, mshindi wa mbio za kilomita arubaini na mbili Anaingia vizuri zaidi e, katika eneo hili Anakaribisho vizuri zaidi Mshindi bingwa wa mbio ya kilomita arubaini na mbili Anakamilisha e, ndani ya masaa mawili Katika mbio hizi za Lukenya University 10 million a uh, trees uh, marathon uh, yupo hapa toka nazungumza na ye mshindi amevalia vizuri zaidi e, tunaweza kumsajili katika eneo hili la kuweza kumalizia alikuwa anasubiri wa upanda wanaume mshindi wa pili ndio huyo katika nafasi ya pili kamilisha mbio hizi vizuri zaidi e, ndani ya chuo kikuu cha Lukenya hawa ni baadhi ya wale ambao walikuwa wanasubiriwa kwa minaji ya kuweza kufanya kweli E, baada ya kuweza kuangaliwa kwa sana upande wa wanaume basi wanaingiza chini ya masaa ama ndani ya masaa mawili mshindi wa tatu huyo valia jezi nzuri zaidi nembo ya Kenya timu ya taifa inaashiria kwamba na yeye pia yuko salama zaidi yupo ari yupo nganga kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba kila kitu kinakwenda salama toka tunapata mahojiano na bingwa wa mwaka huu awamu ya pili ya Lukenya Marathon Naam, uh, huyu ni bingo wa mbio za Lukenya 10 million twist marathon upande wa wanaume mbio za kilomita 40 na mbili. Kongole zaidi bingwa wetu makala ni ya pili tuanze tuna jina mashindano ya leo yamekuwaaje. My name is mimi naitwa Wilson Jeriat. Mimi na trainee ya Kafsabet. Masoesi ya leo ilikuwa mzuri. Tulikimbia. Tukasaidiana na wao wenzangu hadi nikamaliza number 1. Kianza mlianza kundi hasa kubwa zaidi na jinsi mlokuwa mnasonga kasi uliongeza uh, hiki manisha kwamba ulikuwa na lengo flani na ulikuwa uh, umeeza kutumia ufundi flani kwa toka wenzako imekuwa ajibuwa na leo. Tulianza wachama wakapika mbele, nikayaka nyuma, tukayaka na karibu watu watano, tukamendei nifo mbaka tukamalisa, resi ya hikuwa mbaya sana, pile chenye nilifanya tu nilimendei, hati nikashinda. Mara ya kwanza kuweza kutoa ubingwa katika makala haya ya pili uh, kwako inamaanisha nini? Nini mara yangu ya kwanza ku, kushiriki hii na mimi nasema asante, asante kwa organizers ya IRES. Nimeshukuru sana asante. Yeah. Kwako unajiandaa kwa ajili ya mashindano yepi baada ya hapa? Mimi naandaa kwenda China mwezi wa ine. Now still uh, sticking with that marathon, Muto Sami emerged the winner in the women's marathon. Clock in two hours, 37 minutes and uh, 40 seconds. Joy Lois was second while Josephine Chepkrui finished third. Mbio yeah. za 42 kilometers. Tumiona mshindi, amekua mungeli. Asante, bingwa, hasa, anaye, kuja sasa hivi ni wambio, hasa za kilometer arubena mbili kwa wanawake, mbio makala ya pili ya Lukenya University, 10 million trees, napata bingwa mpya hasa wanawake marwa. Hameza kufanya kweli, livyo tarajiwa, mtoto wakike, furaha, meja wanafuraha zaidi, bada ya ushinde, hawezi ya kamini macho wake, mtazamaji, unavuangalia katika runinga yako ya a uh, KTN News amejawa uh, mwingi wa furaha sherekea zaidi mshindi wetu pande wa kinadada eh, katika mbio hizi za kilomita 42 uh, ni eh, mshindi ambaye alikuwa anatarajiwa vizuri zaidi umeonyesha meza kuonyesha kwa mavu yake imeonekana uh, pia amekuwa akikimbiza sio tu kumaliza eh, kwa ajili ya kuweza kutajwa mshindi bali pia uh, kuweza kuangalia na kungangania angalau muda manake kila mmoja anangangania muda kuweza kufanikisha uh, swala hili ndio mshindi wetu pande wa kinadada alokuwa kisubiriwa tena zaidi ameza kufika na kuweza kufanya kweli e, kweli hapa ni nae mshindi wa pili katika mbio za e, kilomita 42 au pande wa wanaume 
aweze kutuelezea tu tulikuwa tunamtaja tunamsubiria aweze kutuelezea tu um, kusudi yake matarajio yako katika mbio hizi yalikuwa namna gani wakati tunamwakaribisha mshindi wa pili katika mbio za kilomita 42 upande wa kinadada kwa majina naitwa Paulin Mutu Asami from nimezaliwa Kitui County uh, nafurahia sana kwa sababu huko ni nyumbani nimeleta ushindi nyumbani kwetu na ninashukuru kwa sababu nimezaliwa katika katika hii hii weather na nilikuwa najua hii weather kwa sababu nimezaliwa huku nitabeba hii race yeah. matarisho kwanza kabla ya siku ya leo matarisho yalikuwa namna gani okay katika matarisho kuna kuanga na obstacles Uwezi sema mazoezi ni rahisi kuna changamoto wa bazo saa zingine usemi saa zingine unasema ni kuomba Mungu tu na kujikasa mm. ulikuwa unatarajia kwamba mwisho wa siku utaweza kuibukia mshinda hii leo Sikuwa nadarajia kabisa kwa sababu the last two weeks nilikuwa na changamoto ya hamstring. So nilikuwa tu na train lakini mazoezi ilikuwa inaingia mzuri juu nilikuwa naumwa sana. But kwa ile determination nikaambia Mungu anisaidie. Nikiingia top 10 nitashukuru Mungu kwa sababu hii ndio sio wewe peke yako. Hii ndio ukiingia katika competition huwezi sema wewe ni namba 1 kwa sababu sio wewe una train peke yako. Wakimbiaji ni wengi na kila mtu amejiandaa. Hakuna mtu analala. So nashukuru Mungu siku anajua kama nitabeba kabisa lakini nilikuwa anajua kulingana na wada ya nyumbani nitaingia pale. Okay. Yeah. Sasa baada ya ushindi huu unatarajia nini? Okay, hii ushindi kwa saa hii siwezi enda ngambo kwa sababu marathon sio rais. Kwa sababu nimemaliza full marathon nitaenda nikae chini nipumzike alafu mimi ni mkimbianji wa APS and administration police. So kuna our championship inakuja next month. So sitaenda mbio nyingine. Hii imenifungua kwa the coming uh, our championship kwa sababu bado nataka niwakilishe kikosi yangu. Mutu Sami the winner of the women's 42 kilometers at uh, Lukenya 10 million trees uh, marathon. Now in uh, still sticking with the Lukenya marathon Moses Wahisi had a chance of speaking to Athletics Kenya Vice President Paul Mutui on uh, what the expectations are in regards uh, to Athletics Kenya elections. Let's listen in. What we have seen today is a very special kind of uh, an event uh, which is uh, being done at uh, what I would call countryside. Uh, unlike the others which are normally done at a city or in a, one of the big towns in the country, this one is right at uh, countryside uh, near actually at the river itself. And uh, I think the reason for it is that uh, it is trying to promote the to promote uh, the green uh, pasture or the green kind of which is very relevant uh, currently in that uh, the check climate change is being is becoming a uh, talk of the day so uh, the race today uh, that is its theme the theme is to promote the change of uh, of climate and that's why yesterday we started with the planting of trees uh, thousands of trees L like uh, you are seeing uh, the event is being uh, framed as um, 10 million uh, uh, trees planting something like that yeah. so this is where we are and uh, I, I would like to say, on behalf of Athletics Kenya community, both in the, uh, the national and uh, regional, uh, where uh, it is southern region that uh, we are talking about, uh, I want to say that uh, the organizers have really done a great job. This is the Lukenya University. They have done a very good job. And uh, we really, uh, Athletic Kenya, proud them uh, for coming up with a show like we are seeing currently, the way it is going on. And I told them the most important thing is that uh, they are trying to promote athletics within this region. Uh, maybe come up like uh, it has uh, with the Rift Valley uh, regions. Uh, so we are very happy that we are seeing uh the for it like now we are just seeing 42 which has been won by a local yes. athlete uh the women so this is very encouraging
In your own take, probably, what are some of the strides that we are putting in as a country and also as Athletics Kenya, just to make sure that at least there is a crop of talent that keeps in, that continues to take the space that maybe our legends leave while uh, they exit the world of athletics? Well, I think this is uh, a kind of an issue that uh, Kenyans will need to hear in that uh, the talent is just as great as uh, it used to be. Those who form uh, uh, days of uh, people like uh, Kinamakau and so forth, uh, whereby it's only that uh, the tapping or the talent is the most important one, where uh, institutions like this one, they need even, apart from uh, giving education, where they are educating the young fellows to be either doctors or engineers or just say what they, they, they need to get uh, uh, some young fellows and put them into a kind of uh, physical training uh, whereby now at the same time like, like they do in america we have sections where uh, young fellows are given an opportunity like uh, say scholarships uh, in American colleges, uh, whereby yeah they start the uh, other kind of uh, other kind of ventures like uh, say agriculture, but at the same time the fellow is an athlete. So if our Kenyan university like Lokenya here uh, can decide to sponsor uh, some talented uh, Kenyans, I think this is great. As as. Uh the senior most member of Athletics Kenya that I've been able to uh, see today on ground, I must ask, I know uh, a few weeks ago the court made declaration about the Athletics Kenya leadership. At the same time, there was a stay order. Where are we at this particular time in regards to all that issue that uh, was declared from the courts and everything that the Athletics Kenya is doing at this particular time? Uh, I would like to say it is very regretful uh, that uh, some people are shouting uh, that uh, is like a leadership in uh, Athletics Kenya it has been there for long, is by all the people like Mutui with white uh, hair, something like this, and uh, other kind of mention. But the most important thing is uh, how is Kenya faring on? How is Kenya faring on so well? Like now we have a team that uh, is in Ghana, has just finished. Uh, African championships, uh, they have done very well. At least to be fourth among uh, almost a hundred countries. Uh, I think that is great. Uh, the other time we were in Tunis and uh, we were number one in the whole of Africa. Uh, there is another team going to Serbia, World Cross Country, and uh, we hope it is going to do well. So now, what, what I'm trying to say is uh, I don't see something that will make some people start quarreling, start saying what, and uh, after the end of the day, it is them who has put uh, this case at the court and it has dragged it so much when we ourselves have been wanting uh, to get it finished and uh, we either go for elections or something like that. So it is not in order that some people start disturbing the stability of athletes when they are getting on well. But, but what are we doing? Uh, are we expecting to have election? Because you're saying you don't know if we should have election or do something, but what needs to be done or what is happening or what are you doing at the leadership? Now, uh, that much what I would say is that we ourselves, we are concerned in promoting athletics and taking care of athletes in this country. W what comes thereafter? Now, it depends on uh, uh, what the situation was, but uh, I can tell you that uh, we have already finished uh, our registration of uh, AK members. Uh, and I think these people who are complaining and so forth should go and uh, register as uh, AK members so that now the time, which I do not know when, the time when election will be called upon, they will be members. But the worst thing is that they boycott some of these issues like registration to be members and they start complaining here and there that there is this and that and they are not members themselves. I, I know Mutui, uh, for a number of times, as much as Athletics Kenya is doing some fantastic job, the critics always say that uh, athletics is more of an individual sport. Sometimes we celebrate to victories that maybe we've not had our hand on. 
to nurture and make that individual talent go out of the country and star. What will you say about some of those sentiments? But, but I thought that is not true. Because the moment we spot uh, a talent as a federation, we encourage by trying to get that athlete to join, say, an international manager who would be exposing this athlete and taking this athlete to competitions outside the country, international and so forth. And uh, you see, the way it is, and the constitutionally, that there is no athlete who is supposed to just go by himself or herself outside. He must pass through Athletics Kenya, so that Athletics Kenya can certify, yes, this is an upcoming athlete, not somebody who is just going for another kind of show or trade outside the country. So I, I want to say as uh, a federation, we take care of uh, making sure that uh, uh, the people go out, they are properly talented, and that's why normally when they go, they do well. Finally, Mutui, uh, I know uh, when we think about uh, leadership in different federations and uh, systems and organizations, they always have their laws and everything that they do. I know we're talking about members coming and joining Athletics Kenya so that they can be able to vote and maybe elect the leaders when the election will be called. Are we using that as a way of bringing our people to the party or is it all inclusive, open and transparent? Uh, if we say that we're having an election, it will not be uh, that other people on the other side will say we were not allowed to be part of this process. So again, they say the process is flawed. Surely, the registration is not just about elections, anyway, let me say the truth. It's about bringing also the Kenyans uh, to be members of this federation so that they would get to learn how them, they themselves, at the grassroots, they could be able to promote, uh, to tap and promote athletics. So it's not much of uh, we want people who would be able to vote or do something. That is very much besides. Well, that was Moses Wahisi speaking to...